We're going to show you today how to create a text effect called Book and Bridge. To do this, we start with some text. I'll click on my artistic text tool, click on the page, and type in the word that I want to use. In this case, it's Raiders. R all capital letters. I'm now going to choose a font that's a nice block style font called Indiana Solid. And I'm going to size this to an adult front. 14 inches wide is the maximum width and three and a half inches is the maximum height. Because I've got my page set up with snap lines for centers, I'm going to center this into my page. Arrange, Align and Distribute, Center to Page. This text effect that I'm showing you is made up of two parts. One is a bridge effect. Two, it's the bookend effect. So it requires two different parts to do this. So I need to duplicate the word Raiders. So I'm going to go to Edit and Copy and go to Edit and Paste. Now, I did a copy and paste instead of a duplicate so that it puts this second lettering right on top of the first lettering. I'm going to change the color for visual purposes so you can see what's going on. And we're going to start by going to the interactive tools and we're going to go to the interactive envelope tool. Make sure that this tool right here called single art mode is selected. Go down to the middle node, click and hold with the left mouse button and drag upward. Now I like to go just past center to create my bridge. Once the bridge is created, I'll go to arrange and convert to curves. Once this is in a curve mode instead of text, I can then use my shape tool and select and delete all the nodes that make up the letter R. I'll do the same with the letter S. Now I can grab the background lettering, convert it to curves, and again use my shape tool to get rid of the nodes making up letters that I don't want. In this case the A, the I, the D, the E, and the R. Once I've created the bookends and the bridge, I now want to combine them. So I'll select the middle lettering, hold the shift key on my keyboard and select the bookends, then go to arrange and combine. To make this a two color lettering, we're going to use the interactive contour tool. Select the lettering, choose the interactive contour tool. Because this is a thick style of lettering, creating a second color, we want to go to the inside of the letter. We want it set for one step. The offset size we're going to leave at 0.1 and we want it to be red. Once the contour tool is finished, we can go to arrange break contour group apart and we now have two separate pieces of foreground and a background creating a two color bridge uh, bookend bridge text effect. Now at this point if you're going to send this to us to cut or if you need it cut by somebody else or you're going to cut it yourself you want to make sure that you have no overlapping lines. So go up to view and go to wireframe and as you can see, there are two separate pieces without overlapping lines. So we are ready for cutting. Go back to View, go to Enhance so I can see this. We're going to go through this one more time and we're going to create the word footballs to replace underneath it. And we're going to do a reverse bookend bridge. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. And we're going to go through the steps again. I'll choose my artistic text tool, type in the word football, all in capital letters, choose the same type font, Indiana Solid, 
change the width to 14 inches and the height to 3.5 center it on my page choose the interactive envelope tool make sure that single arc mode is selected choose the top node in the middle and bring it down just below the center mark I need to back up what I forgot to do was create a second set of lettering I missed a step I'll go to edit copy edit paste let's change this one to blue again since I missed it the first time and we'll go through the steps again interactive envelope tool single arc move down now we want to go to a range and convert to curves choose our shape tool remove the nodes choose the background arrange convert to curves shape tool again get rid of all the nodes creating the letters in the middle then combine everything together Hold choose the inside lettering hold my shift key choose the bookends then go to arrange and combine I now want to create that two colors go to the interactive tool choose contour make sure everything should be set the same because we did it the first time but make sure you're set again to inside one step point one for the thickness and we want to use red after you're finished with the contour tool go to arrange break contour group apart and again now we have a foreground and a background ready for cutting I'll move this down I'll bring this up I'll choose everything I'll go to my quick alignment tool make sure everything is centered and we now have a finished piece of artwork if you have questions on anything that you've seen here today please call our toll-free number 1-888-734-7446 or if you'd like to uh, purchase the CDs that teach you how to use Corel Draw for the garment industry feel free to go to our website at www.wesellsigns.com click on the my cut sew button and you can review all the courses we have available currently there's eight courses available and you can buy any or all of them if you buy all of them there's a discounted price thank you for joining us today and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to give us a call